Hi, I'm James Quirk reporting for Inkish TV from Drupa 2024. I'm here at the stand of synthetic material manufacturer Upo uh, with Christina Grisolia, who is the marketing manager for Germany. Christina, hello. Hello. Uh, this is your first time, the company's first time at Drupa. Um, can you tell us why you've decided to, to exhibit here this year for the first time? We thought after now eight years there was a pause inside for the Drupa. We decided to go here and because we think it's still the biggest um, exhibition in the world for the paper and the printing industry. And we think it's better to be here and to show our products and be present uh, and show what you can and even, uh, con let's say, convince people um, that uh, the synthetic materials are a good alternative against to, um, let's say, normal paper and as well. Um, I always say um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> conventional things. Sure. sure. So, so one of the advantages, the key advantages of yeah. synthetic materials is their recyclability, is that right? Partly, yes, but even in the production line already. Uh, we are using less water than the normal paper industry for producing one um, um, square meter of normal paper, as well less electricity. So there are a lot of advantages we are having on our products. And what, what uh, are the products that you're showing here or particularly focusing on here at this show? And what are the end user sectors that, uh, that they, can be, uh, they can be used by? I would say we have two main sectors we have. We have one of the blow molding industry, or the, let's say the labeling industry, um, which are looking still for new um, opportunities and now find new um, materials for even blow molding. So they're coming all over the world say, um, for finding things and try to get new applications and so on. We will even launch by end of the year a new product at the Label Expo show in Chicago. So there will be new products coming up as well for this market. On the other side, we have as well a digital market, which is growing still in all kinds of niches. It's not only the, um, the indigo material, but as well for taco and indigo uh, and, and um, jelly materials, which are coming more and more popular in small quantities and small um, sizes, but in a quicker run, uh, run, runnability. And uh, in-mold labeling is, uh, is another big focus for Absolutely, you. Yes. Um, is that a market that you're finding is, 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 is growing for Upo? It's still it's started again. Yes, after a while it was really uh, it was quiet. The, the market is picking up in the moment again. So we can even see in the eastern countries of Europe uh, it's coming more and more. But as well here in, in, in the basic countries like Belgium, Netherlands, France, and so on, we are picking up again, and it's coming more and more requests about it. So yeah. Christina, thank you very much. We hope you have a, a great rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. We hope as well to have a good show here and then enjoy the show this year. So let's see if we come in four years back for the next Rupa. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time.